Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we have a mail day. I'm gonna show you what I've been picking up lately over the last couple weeks in the mail. So uh, yeah, we'll get started. This is from a break I was in. I had the Tennessee Titans. It was like 10 different boxes of football. Not even sure what all I got. I was hoping to hit at least some kind of Derrick Henry stuff. Looks like there's only a couple cards in here. It's not surprising. Titans are pretty, we're not really big in this break, but let's see what we got. Racy McMath, rookie, Caleb Farley, rookie, and an AJ Brown. So yeah, that break was kind of rough for Tennessee. No Derrick Henrys. Now, what I have been picking up over the last few weeks. First, I picked this up. The Marit Cider. National Hockey Card Day. Rookie. This is, I don't know if you want to consider it his very, I would consider it his very first rookie card. You know, it's National Hockey Card Day, so it's not a regular set, but one of his first cards out in a Red Wings uniform. And in my opinion, this guy should be, without a doubt, Rookie of the Year. He is, at the making of this video at least, fourth in points, way above every other defenseman in the league, not even close. He is only 21, just turned 21. He leads all rookies with time on ice by five, six minutes. That's not even close. He runs Detroit's power play. He runs Detroit's power kill. He does not make mistakes. He hits. He is, right now, as a rookie, just outside the top 10 of overall defensemen in the league. If you have not watched him, he is going to be very, very good. If you're a Red Wings fan, I would say he's a combination of Nicholas Lidstrom and Nicholas Cronwall because he will hit people. He will light people up. And on top of that, next year, he gets a little more offensive talent around him. He doesn't have to stay back as much. He has, he does have a lot of scoring ability. He doesn't show it a lot just because our defense is so poor. And a lot of guys get in the zone and turn the puck over so much, he has to stay back. But I'm telling you, he's not as explosive as Kale McCarr. But there's no doubt in my mind, he will be a 20 goal a game, 20 goal per year scorer as a defenseman. He is, he is unbelievable as a rookie and there is no doubt he should be defense he should be rookie of the year over all the other guys he is special that is the first of many that you guys will see of his next up so i'm not a big set collector i don't complete a lot of sets but i've started with this year to go after all the young guns at least in hockey so for Series 1, I've been basically going through the checklist, buying up Young Guns, trying to complete it. If you just saw the last video, I pulled a big one in Zegris. So that was a big one off the list. I think I got about nine more to go. Got this, Tanner Janot. This guy also, I'm shocked how cheap his cards are. He's 6th or 7th in rookie points plays on Nashville, which could be a big thing, but his penalty, his penalty minutes are through the roof. I think he leads the league in fights, and he was pretty close in the scoring lead for all rookies. It's shocking that his, this card, his card's so cheap, but playing on Nashville doesn't help, so it helps me a guy for a very good price. So we've got Tanner Janot, and now it's going to be a lot of the young guns. We have Ali Alzing, Dakota Joshua, Mike Hardman, K 
Kalen Addison, Kyle Burrows, Jeremy Davies, Jackson Cates, Jeffrey Beal, Daniel Walcott, Simon Benoit, Lane Pedersen, Mark McMichaels, Cole Lind, Parker Kelly, Joey Keane, Garrett Pilon, we have Joe Valeno, he's doing okay for the Red Wings. He's got a lot of potential, he just doesn't, he doesn't get the game quite yet, he makes mistakes, he's not in the places where he's supposed to be. He's got a lot of speed, he's a good puck handler, we'll see next year how he develops, but he's got potential, he's nowhere near on the level of Cider or Lucas Raymond, so we'll see on him, Tanner Jack Khan. Or to Ristolainen, Tice Thompson, Uko Pekka Luku Leninen. I am shocked by the price of this Young Guns. Also, this is like a ten to fifteen dollar card for his for this guy. There must be a lot of people who think he has a ton of potential because his stats this year are awful. He does play on Buffalo, which is an awful team, but. People must think he has a ton of potential for the price of his cards. His cards are more expensive than a lot of the other players. Kind of shocking. Wade Allison. Marion Studenick. Morgan Barron. Philip, Gust Philip Gustavuson. He's actually pretty good from the little bit I saw him against Ottawa. We, 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 the Red Wings recently played Ottawa like three times in the last two and a half weeks or something like that. He has some good potential for at least the Ottawa people out there. At least from what I saw. Uh, Joshua Dunn. Brinson. Michael Hauser. Tarmo, Checklist of Caulfield and Zegras, Jacob Bryson, Keaton Milton, Zach Jones, and finally, Alex Bear Boulay. So there we have it. Like I said, you'll probably, you'll be seeing a lot more young guns. I think I got about 10 left to get, to buy. They're more than the mid-tier and more expensive guys but uh yeah so almost ready to complete that set i don't know if i'm going to do the canvas of series one also we'll see how i feel but uh yeah really looking forward to series two coming out whenever that's going to be but uh yeah let me know what you thought comment below hit the like button and uh subscribe to the channel if you're new and i will see you all next time Thank <laughs> you.